Hi, um, I'm going to do a lesson on my least favorite and least used part of Fusion 360, but uh, it's the fall season and Halloween and everything around the corner, so I uh, figured I'd show you how to try to use Fusion 360 to make an organic looking pumpkin. Um, so I probably would have never got into this, but uh, our church... Uh, uh, well, we've always made Easter eggs, uh, uh, peanut butter and buttercream uh, Easter eggs covered with chocolate. And uh, a while back, I made the egg forms for them, which is like about a half an egg. And then uh, uh, they used to make them by hand, you know, and uh, they didn't, they wanted to be more. Uh, even with them so uh i made a uh, dozen egg forms for them and uh uh a year ago or so they decided that they wanted to try making uh, ones in the fall too so they wanted a pumpkin mold so um i actually uh that's why i had to get into figuring out how to make pumpkins so uh uh that's the what the final product they wanted to look like the mold part of it of course, you got to start with that so you know what you're doing. And then uh, we, uh, uh, you don't want to, you have to have a mold. So that's the negative of it. So you just make this object and then subtract the two. And when we turn off the mold, you can see that you got the hollow in there where the, uh, you press the, peanut butter or buttercream mixture in there and it forms it and then you drop it out. You use like cellophane just to, you know, make sure that it releases from the mold and everything. And then they let them sit for a little bit and then they dip them in chocolate and the church uses it as a fundraiser. So anyhow, that's what, that's how come I got into making pumpkins in Fusion 360. So uh, instead of making a half a pumpkin like that, I figured I'd show you where, what I, how to make a regular pumpkin. Believe me, this is nothing that I know how to figure it out how on my own. This is a uh, fusion or the Autodesk put out a video in 2013. I guess that wasn't too long after they introduced fusion and, uh, they, uh, showed you how to do it like in a two minute video of course you had to go through and figure out what they're clicking on and everything and uh then there's longer videos of recently of other people uh working through it so i figured i'd give you my shot at it everybody needs to have a pumpkin video up i guess this time of year so let's get started we'll start sketching and instead of sketching on the bottom plane, we're going to sketch on one of the side planes this time because we want to do a profile. So I'm just going to start out with a line so that we can uh, uh, basically just a guide to show me about how big my pumpkin is. So I'm working in inches, so we're going to go to a three-inch line there. And uh, then we want to do the fixed point slime, spline. So we wanted to start at the bottom and just make a, you can adjust these later. And you don't want it to touch at the top. You just want it to be open because we want to work on a stem and that's a different thing. So when you get your last one in, you right click and hit okay and you're done. And <clears throat> like I said, uh, you can make it however you want. And then uh, we're going to 3D print it. You're probably going to slice off this bottom when you do that. So you can either do it uh, in Fusion or you can do it um, in the uh, slicers. All, most slicers will let you lower your object down so you don't print the bottom part of it. So um, either way, that's probably what we got there. So I think that's all we need for our sketch there. So we'll hit stop sketch and sketch now we're going to go into the create form this is like i say i never been here never went here until i started learning how to make pumpkins I, uh, took a quick dive into it to find out how to do it so we're going to go ahead and uh 
create and you want to go down here to revolve and we want to revolve this so that's one profile selected and the axis of course what we're going to revolve around so that's what we're going to revolve around and then we get all these options and uh, like i said to make it kind of organic i want odd numbers here so i'm going to go up to like 13 vertical lines and probably nine horizontal lines and then a lot of times that you got the choice here is circular or none as far as symmetry you want circular because that's how we're going to make our ridges on our pumpkin so and you want the faces in between each symmetry to be you want three of them in there and that's all you got to do there and you say okay The next thing you do is you want to modify this to give your pumpkin look to it, your ridges in your pumpkin. So under modify, you got the edit form. Is You can either find it here, you can use the drop down to find it, but I got it on my bar here. So we're going to edit the form and you got to select what you want to make. So the big thing here is you want to make sure that you want to, you want to stay on your, um, axes so i like to turn on my origin again to make sure that this is this, i haven't moved it so i know it's this one and you want to select these lines of course you're going to have to hold control down so you don't want the very first one or the very last one because that'll mess up what you're doing so you want to pick all the rest of them so i'm going to pick So that's what I got. So we're going to, and you can either, depending on what your preference is, you can either push in to make it uh, the ridges, or you can pull out the ridges and make it sharper coming out or whatever. So it's whatever you decide you're, you think a pumpkin should be. I kind of think the ridges in is the way I think of pumpkins more. So we're going to go with ridges in on this one. And you just make it look right, and you can uh, look down on it and see what it looks like. And that looks kind of what maybe a pumpkin looks like sitting down. So, and like I said, we got the hole in the top, so that's good. And uh, <laughs> that's about all you do with that. And then you hit OK. And you got that. You still have your symmetry lines in that. And at this point, when we make the stem, it's going to, we want to make our stem not symmetric. So what we want to do is get rid of our symmetry now. So you go up here to symmetry and you say clear symmetry. And it wants to know what you want to select. You want to select the whole thing and then hit OK. So now our green lines are gone and our symmetry is gone. So that's good. <clears throat> so now this is actually the, tedious part because it's it's uh all up to you what you want to do with it so um what you want to do is you want to go scroll in here real good and you want to go back to this modify one here and let me get myself out of the way here i don't know i might be blocking something okay so anyhow so you want to make sure that you got this selection filter on edge. So that's the only one I, I don't, these all are just about where they are, but this, this edge is what you want. So you can select an edge. So if you pick an edge and you double click on it, then you get, you know, that, uh, you get that ring. And this is, uh, basically your, pulling if you do it right you're going to pull extra stuff into it so we can actually create a stem by doing this so you got you got the center of your if you get the center thing here it's going to contract or expand that circle and i can actually show you that you can do this you know expand or contract that circle 
and you could move it by using the arrows and you can also move a whole face at a time by going in a direction by holding the plane and everything. So, but all that's going to do at this point is uh, change, you know, what you got already got drawn. But if you hold down the alt key and then you pick this and you can actually, it's going to bring a second one in. So we had actually one of those lines, extra lines came in there. So I did that. And then you got to let up on the alt key and let up on the, your mouse button. And now we want to pull it up. So you hold the alt key again and you pull it up a little bit. And now you can start making your stem. But that's a pretty big stem, so you can go back and you can make the stem a little bit bigger. I might a, this might be a fat stem pumpkin, I don't know. So I'm going to scroll out a little bit. And uh, like I said, hold your alt key, and I'm going to go up with this. And that is pretty big, so I'm going to go up. And I think you can still go in with it. Now I probably should be letting go of that. So anyhow, and then like I said, you can move it off center by doing this. And you can also use your tilt things here. You could tilt your cut a little bit. You can move it off to the side a little bit. That doesn't, like I said, it's a pretty fat stem for a pumpkin, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm sure everybody out there is more creative than I am. So anyhow... We got that done, so we're going to scroll way in because we got to actually close our figure here. So what you got, you still got that. So we're going to hold our Alt key, and we're going to actually try to move this and close it off a little bit. Start our turn, and then let go. And then we want to hold our Alt key one more time go in with it and at this point since you're going in like a straight across thing you want to actually make this number over here zero so. and that closes off your object now you bought if your bottom started out on the origin so you were closed now this is closed now you actually have a enclosed uh, figure Okay. That's what it looks like. We still have the origin turned on. That's where that dot is down there. Yeah. And like you say, and then when you're done with whatever you want to do and you want to get back into the regular environment, you can just say finish form and now you're back into your regular environment. You got your pumpkin. Now, of course, pumpkins have got to be yellow or orange. So you can right click here and go to appearance. And I like to pick out uh, let's see, what do I like? Mm -hmm. Maybe this orange. And the way you do this is you click and hold and you just pull it onto it. Yeah, that looks like a right orange. <clears throat> and you can pick whatever orange color and whatever. Some of them are shiny. Some of them are matte finished or whatever. We'll close that. Yeah. You always end up with that line on there. I never figured out how to do that, but uh, anyhow. Um, should be able to go ahead and just 
3D print this now. So file extrude one millimeters. Pick that. Hit OK. I'm gonna call it. We're saving it in downloads. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Prusa slicer. I'm just showing you the workflow here, hopefully. Uh, maybe. It's Hmm. Oh. Uh, import STL. Hmm, my pumpkin was the last thing then. Hmm. So that's my pumpkin. And um like I say, right now it's sitting on the bottom. So it probably, you know, like I say, you need to lower it down. Especially if you don't want overhangs and stuff like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. So that's my pumpkin. Go back over to Fusion. Look at it. So anyhow, I hope I maybe somebody can get some use out of it. Like I say, other people have done it on the web and come across it. So either way, that's the my video for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.